everyone, and welcome to day eight of season one uh, here at Consolitude. Today marks the first day in Agrimus's descent into tier two. He was able to complete tier one yesterday after polishing off Mario Kart 64 and actually managed to roll over into tier two with a few extra tier points to boot. In order to defeat this tier, Zack is going to need to accomplish 1,200 tier points, which will become a little bit easier thanks to the fact that challenges are going to ramp up ever so slightly in difficulty from this point on. Every tier gradually ramps up on challenge, meaning that tier two will have a slightly more medium and hard challenges than tier one did, accounting for more overall tier points, making the 1200 goal that much easier. Grimace, for your efforts, if you are able to complete tier two, you will earn yourself a high-end 27-inch Asus gaming monitor. In addition, you will also unlock a $150 gift card for the audience as a prize drop. The consoles that you chose at the beginning of the season for tier two are Xbox One, Xbox Original, and PlayStation 2. Since Xbox is your jam, we're expecting some pretty interesting things from you this week, and we're not gonna be holding back any punches in terms of games and the challenges we designed for them. So without further ado, let's jump right into what challenges for we have in store for you today. First up, for the Xbox One, we have Dead Rising 3. The Dead Rising series is a series of zombie beat-em Ups, focusing heavily on melee weapons and mass weapons of destruction in shopping malls, parking lots, and backyards, and all sorts of other areas. All of these weapons and craftables allow you to bash, smash, and hack, and slash your way through hordes and hordes of would-be zombies. This challenge is a relatively easy challenge. All you have to do is start from the beginning of the game and work your way through finding 10 different weapon blueprints. You have to craft those weapons and use them to kill zombies with. After successfully crafting 10 different weapons and using them in combat, you will have defeated this challenge. Being an easy challenge, this will award you the typical 50 tier points, a $10 gift card for the chat, and your bonus for this challenge is 200 consolers. We only expect this one to take you a couple hours. Next up for the Xbox original is Fable. As we all know, Fable is an RPG that relied heavily on the light and dark options in terms of dialogue, and player choices. The actions you took in the game had a huge overall impact on whether or not your character was a good guy or a bad guy. And over time, if you chose the dark side, it really started to show because your physical appearance represented the decisions you had made in the game. Our challenge for you today is to start from the beginning of the game and work your way towards the Escort the Traitors mission. Your job is to see that both of these traitors survive the mission. You cannot lose either of them. Keep in mind that save games are totally legal, so if you need to reload a save point involved with trying to restart this mission again, you are more than welcome to do that. You can find this quest outside of Darkwood. We are labeling this quest as a medium difficulty quest, meaning you will win 75 tier points, a $20 prize job for the chat, in addition to 400 consolers for successful completion. This challenge should only take you a few hours to complete at most. Last and not least for the PlayStation 2 today, we have Twisted Metal Black. The Twisted Metal series sees race cars and other sorts of vehicles like ice cream trucks, motorcycles, and tanks outfitted with weapons of destruction. Rather than being a game about racing, Twisted Metal is a game about destroying, as your job is to make sure you kill every other car out there against you. The game can be pretty difficult at times, depending on the difficulty you choose, and that's why this challenge is a progressive challenge. Basically, Grimace, you have a choice. You can play the game on whatever difficulty you would like. And based on the difficulty and based on the number of levels you are able to complete in a single run, you will earn tier points. The tier points you will earn are a direct representation of the levels themselves divided amongst the tier points. Meaning, out of all the levels you complete, we will divide it against an easy challenge for an easy difficulty, medium challenge for medium difficulty, and hard challenge for hard difficulty. But we're leaving everything up to you. You can choose. If you choose to play on an easy difficulty, you'll earn easy tier points based on the number of levels. If you decide after playing easy that you want to move up to medium, you can do that too. We will modify the tier points based on the highest difficulty you're able to complete and the total number of levels you're able to get through. As this is a progressive challenge, your best bet is to probably wait until the other two are complete because you can spend as much time as this one as you want and we have no estimated time projection to give you. So there you have it. Progressive challenge, easy, medium, or hard are possible. Entirely up to you and the prizes will directly result upon what you're able to complete. Also, one last note, in order for chat to win a prize drop off of you 
on this game, you must defeat the entire game on that respective difficulty. Meaning if you complete the game on easy, they'll win an easy tier, complete the game on hard, they'll win a hard tier, so on and so forth. But you must complete the game on at least one difficulty for chat to receive a prize drop. So there you have it, folks. We have Dead Rising 3 on the Xbox One, we have Fable on Xbox Original, and Twisted Metal Black on PlayStation 2. Grimace, you are ready to begin when ready. Welcome to Tier 2. Let us begin.